one last question. I don't know if you have uh, the time just to comment briefly on uh, um, people who carry two copies of the MTHFR polymorphism, uh, which impacts the way people activate folate from uh, green leafy vegetables and uh, in, 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 in their bodies. Yeah, I'm, I'm always fascinated that I almost always get a question on MTHFR. Yeah. And I think it's because there are some uh, people out there, practitioners, I don't want to say researchers because they're not actually researchers, um, people who have written books on MTHFR. It's like it's taken on an industry on its own. I think there's all kinds of websites that have MTHFR in the URL. I agree. And when you look, when you look at, yeah, when you look at the evidence, um, you know, we have it in our report, but it relates specifically to folate recommendations. Uh, and there's an additive effect, meaning that one copy of the variant uh, increases your requirement for folate, having two copies increases it even further because there's that additive effect on homocysteine level. But, you know, when it comes to methylation, and again, this is something else that people have created this whole industry on methylation, it's a double-edged sword. Right? It's not like we always want to just have more methylation for everybody, right? Uh, in some instances, it's it's not a good thing. So I think my my short answer is don't worry too much about MTHFR, right? Yeah. I mean, if you're getting adequate amounts of folate, eating nice amounts of green leafy vegetables and and fortif and foods that are fortified with folate, it it really doesn't matter what your MTHFR genotype is. Um, Thank you very much for uh, reinforcing this message. This is exactly what I teach uh, in this class. And uh, I also give the example of my mom. She's an homozygous. She has four kids, 82 years old, full of uh, energy. And uh, yes, in this case, lifestyle is more important. Just uh, I use uh, this, uh, this example of MTHFR just to guide um, uh, awareness about potential weaknesses uh, in activating folate and so the need of uh, eating uh, more green leafy vegetables. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you find it insightful, I invite you to leave a comment below and share it with someone who may find it interesting. Don't forget to explore the video description for more valuable content. There, you'll find a link to access my free webinar on Happy Nutrition, a groundbreaking health paradigm I teach in my university courses. Join me to explore how nutrition can optimize gene expression. Thank you for watching and being a part of this vibrant community.